Hey YouTube, Southwest252 here with another video, and this time it is of the Gemini Jets 1400 scale Breeze Airways Airbus A220-300. But before I get into the review, I would just like to say I would really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram, and the link for that is in the description below. We'll start off the review with the box as always. You've got the Gemini Jets logo in the top left, made for collectors by collectors. There's the computer generated image of this aircraft. Airbus A220-300 Breeze 1400 scale diecast model aircraft. There's where the model would be inside. You can pause and read the information about the Airbus A220-300. And then you can also pause and read the specifications about this aircraft. And the registration of this aircraft is November 203 Bravo Zulu. On the bottom of the box, 1400 scale die cast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics, and as real as it gets features. The left side, you've got all the same things, just with the item number, which is GJMXY2064. On the top, it does say adult collectible model, warning contains small parts, unsuitable for children under 14 years of age. The right side is the same as the left side. And the back of the box, uh, you have the computer-generated image of the aircraft climbing, Gemini Jets logo, so the Israel is a good features, which you can pause and read. And then also, don't forget to check out the Gemini Jets social media. And this is a 2022 Gemini Jets release. That's all for the box. Now for the model. And I must say I'm very happy that Gemini Jets has updated their mold. The landing gear is now... Uh, the pretty much the standard among Gemini Jets 1400 models. It's not that cheap plastic that they used to have. Now it does have the rolling rubber gears, so that is nice. And now for the rest of the aircraft, you have the cockpit nose, uh, sorry, the nose cone painted there, and then the cockpit windows behind there. You've got all the pitot tubes and details, and then there is that front nose gear. There you have the L1 door with the Breeze logo there titles across the front. You have your antenna on top there, the first one out of three. Move to the overwing emergency exit and routes painted on the wing there. There's your wing and the winglet and it does have the check mark on it on the outsides. Here's your engine, the outside view, and then here's the inside view of your engines. You do have two more antennas towards the back. It does say flybreeze.com on it. And then you move towards the back, you have the American flag and then the registration, which again is November 203 Bravo Zulu. There you have your rear door as well as the rear antenna and then the breeze tail design. And then you move over to the right side where you've got those cargo luggage doors there beneath the Z and the E. And they're in the back to the bottom right of the registration. So here is the front view of this aircraft. There's the right side. There's the back view. There's the left side. Here's the top view. And here is the bottom. So you do have the nose, go nose cone at the front there, the nose gear. Again, all the gears are rubber and do roll, which is a nice update. You move towards the center, you have the Breeze logo once again, the Breeze titles. You have your main gear underneath the engines and wings. Move back, you do have the Gemini Jets logo, and then you move all the way to the back. You've got the doors for the APU, and then the APU itself all the way in the back. So overall, this is a fantastic model. 
I, I once again, I haven't actually ever seen a Breeze Airways aircraft in person, so I can't judge too harshly on the colors here. I have seen photos, of course. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, so I'm going to say that the painting is great. If not, feel free to argue down below in the comments. And I think the updates Gemini Jets has done to this mold is very nice. So for at least right now, I think this model deserves a perfect score of 30 out of 30. But that's going to be it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new. And once again, I would really appreciate it if you could check out my Instagram and the link for that is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Bye. to point out the safety features of this Boeing 737-800. To fasten your seatbelt, slide that flat metal end into the buckle. To release, lift up on the buckle. Position the belt low end.